Hey everyone, it's your North Texas Fossil Dude. I'm out here with Dudette. We're at a creek, and I'm sorry, I can't tell you where it is. I'm not real big at um, giving away spots that are given to me. You know, I would share if I could. Um, but, uh, you know, I was I was looking this morning, and uh, this uh, July, the end of July, makes the third year I've been doing my videos. I've really enjoyed sharing my adventures with you guys. Um, but let me turn turn this around. Let me show you what I got. If you see that hole right there, and that hole right there, we are able to get that whole guy out of there. There's my hand for comparison. Pretty good size. And we got that one. It's a double. I think that one's kind of a little broken on that side. But it might clean up fairly well. So we're going to keep looking around here. Um, I know there's a lot. We passed up a really big one. I'll show that one later. Hopefully I'll be able to take that out of here. Um, but let's go find some fossils. Hey everyone, so uh, Sis and I are just commenting how hot it is out here. I mean, it is really hot. Very muggy. That bats kind of look like one, but it's not. So Sis and her keen eye found this one. Check that guy out. I moved some rocks to take a look at it beforehand just to double check. But it's got a few suture lines on it. Hopefully it'll pop out of there. There you go. Check that guy out. That's another good size one right there. It is intact. Beat up quite a bit, but that's all right. <laughs> good job, sis. Way to go. Way to go. All right, let's go find some more fossils. All right, everyone's still looking. Not going to be here much longer. We already took a, a few back. Actually, it looks like it's starting to rain. Um, which <laughs> I'm actually not going to mind too much because it's going to cool it off a little bit, but I did find this guy. I kind of broke the rock away a little bit and, uh, looks to be whole. So I'm going to take that back with me. It needs some prep work and so forth, but I'm going to go up here and get this uh, really large one and start carrying it out. So I'll show that to you here in just about, oh, a couple minutes. All right, everyone, as you can tell, the uh, Texas sun has come out. It's already starting to bake. Um, I checked quite a few larger ones on the other part of the creek. About half of them were missing. This one's pretty whole. I'll probably uh, take this one out. It looks like it's missing a little piece, um, but it looks like the inside of it is there. But we're going to keep looking around. I don't know if I find a, a nicer one. I'll grab that one. If not, this one will come home with me. Let's go find some more fossils. All right, uh, we're going to do Can You See It game. I'm not sure if you can actually see this or not. Um, it's in the middle of the screen. It's a little lighter color than the other ones. <laughs> Just kidding around, folks. That's actually a nice Monticeris. It is complete. Definitely taking that with me. All right, let's keep looking. Hey, everyone. Can you see it? Kim got a, had a really good eye on this one. I had to break out the shovel. Just this top part right here was sticking out. Need to hose it off a little bit, but it's complete. Man, that's nice. All right, see if we can find any more. We're getting ready to head out here in a couple minutes. All right, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and do the roundup. I went ahead and uh, just took them out of the Jeep and I washed them a, a little bit with some water and a little bit of a brush. And you can find out some pretty interesting stuff. So that's that really large one. As you can see, I have to I have to do some work on that guy. But these look like burrows. You see them? So those are on top. Looks like a little burrow there. Uh, maybe from a shrimp or, or something like that. This one, you couldn't even tell it was really cracked that bad until you actually uh, washed off all the algae. And as you can tell, it's a, it's a pretty bad shape there. This one looks pretty good. It is whole. Um, the bottom piece comes around this way. So I'm going to be able to clean up that center pretty nice. Be pretty good. As you can see, it's a, it's a good size one also. And then you have this guy here, which is still in a lot of the matrix. Um, I was really worried about cracking it right there. Uh, it did not go all the way through. So we'll take a look at that here later when we start prepping it out. We did happen to find some little itty bitty guys. You can see there's a little guy right there. This is uh, one of the Monticeris species that was found and once again it's one of those deals where you start washing it off and you start seeing some of the other details and stuff in it that one's pretty good this one's a little bit larger as you can tell that's a 
It's probably good, uh, probably about 12 inches in diameter, but good foot. Here's another Montaceris. Um, that's a decent size, about eight, eight, nine inches across, but you can actually see the suture lines in this one. So preservation is really good on it. It is whole, but as you can see, we do have some cracks we're gonna have to worry about when we start prepping it out. That one came out perfect, look at that. It's another 12 incher right there. Nice, nice guy. Looks like it'll probably be missing the center, but it, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to play around with it and take a look. Uh, I kept that. I think it's just cool looking. Not really sure what it is. There's a small one. I got him because he is whole. And I figured what I'd be able to do is polish that up and see what it comes out to look like. We did find a couple of echinoids. Little guys there. Kind of a beat up ammonite. There's another one that's going to have to break out of the matrix. That's a good 12 inch foot. Uh, excuse me, or a foot. And then you have this one right here. And I was actually breaking it out a little bit while we were there. And I noticed that little guy right there. Now, I think Kim from the DPS might be interested in that. She'll have to let me know. I'll take a picture and, and see if she wants to take a look at that. Because I think that's a, a species of ammonite she's been after. It's kind of a kind of like an L-shaped ammonite. Um they're pretty cool. And then, you know, what does the North Texas fossil dude do with Dudette on the way home? Well, we see a construction site. Kind of stop for a few minutes. Check these guys out. That's, oh, I didn't even notice that. Look, cleaned it off. You can see the suture pattern in that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Didn't even realize that. And that's a Mariella. Um, don't really find a whole lot of those up north. I did find a few in Waco when I was hunting with my buddy down there, so... Overall, it's a great day. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I might uh, might not go fossil hunting for a little while. I got a lot to prep. Might be uh, last video for a while. I might uh, go ahead and do a few shorts here and there. But thanks for watching.